excited. I love it so much. what's up it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here today is a very exciting video because I'm going to be revealing what these simply how t-shirts and hats are gonna look like it's exactly what I pictured in my head and I'm just so happy about it and so excited oh my gosh I can't wait I'm so excited the sweatshirts are going to be a little bit different I have to order a sample for a sweatshirt so I don't have that to show y'all yet I have been super super busy recently trying to get some inventory made for my store and things ordered and samples done and ordered and everything and I'm just so excited to launch this I do not have a launch date as of right now but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to launch like in the middle of November if possibly the second week I'm not really sure I filmed me unboxing the t-shirt so I'm going to play all those clips really quick I'm so excited and can't wait to see y'all wearing them oh my gosh I'm so excited but I'm nervous but it's fine like if I don't like it it's because God didn't want me to open my store quite yet okay do you have a um Sharpie so I can mark the address. Oh, for a piece of duct tape or something. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, my goodness. I don't know if that'll work. Let's see. Oh, why am I crossing my name out? I don't know. Okay, that's not what. Okay, I just got some super, super exciting packages in the mail. Um, this is for my store, and this is supposed to be my t-shirt sample, and I'm, I'm kind of nervous to open it in case I don't like it. Okay, I actually got the hat a couple days ago, but I was so excited I did not sit down and unbox it on camera. But the box that it came in was this right here. Hold on, let me get my address off of it. I was super impressed by how fast the shipping was, um, especially the hat. The hat got here a lot faster than they said it was going to, so in my experience, the shipping was all, like, really good. But this is what the box looks like. My logo is right here on it, and on the packing slip, you will get a little note from me, and oh my gosh, I'm nervous. And I mentioned in one of my recent videos that I already got some samples a couple weeks ago and I wasn't really that happy with them. Um, I wear hats like a lot and I really wanted to like love the hat and all the products that I'm coming out with. The hats that I got were nice but I just didn't, they weren't what I was expecting. Like it wasn't what I envisioned. Like I told y'all, I backed out of that supplier and have chosen a different one. And the hats is exactly what I pictured in my head. Like, I'm so, so happy with it. Um, and I actually have already made my Instagram for my store. Um, so I'll have that linked in the description box so y'all can go and follow that. And I thank y'all so, so very much for all of the followers on there already. I haven't even opened yet and y'all have already shown me so much love and support. And I appreciate it so, so much. But this is what the hat looks like. It's, hold on, let me make it focus it's like a vintage um baseball cap so it has like the distressed um little marks on it these are like my favorite kind of hats and i absolutely love it and it is adjustable in the back and it's a really good quality it's a lot better quality than i was thinking it was going to be and then my logo is embroidered on it so it's not like a decal like it's embroidered on to the hat um, see, so I really love it, and it's really comfortable. So, yeah, I'm super, super excited about this. This is the charcoal gray color, um, so I'm super, super, super happy with that. And I'm really hoping I love the t-shirt as much as I do the hat. Um, but if not, like, it's fine. I'll have to fix it. That's what samples are for. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. 
Okay, so it comes in another package, which is like a packing slip with a note from me on it and my logo and everything, but my address is on it, so I'm not going to show it to y'all. Oh my gosh. I really hope I like it. Okay. Oh, it's soft. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. should be lower though don't you feel like it should be lower maybe I should put it on and see oh my gosh I love it okay, this is blue jeans and I that my sister took and I am holding my cross that's above my bed and it says simply howl on it and then I put Psalm chapter 37 verses 4 through 5 on it underneath my name oh my goodness i really love it it turned out like better than i thought it would and this is the black heather i really like it i'm not sure if i want it lower i'm not really sure i feel like it doesn't it wouldn't need to be that much lower okay i'm gonna put it on really quick oh my gosh okay i have the shirt on and lila and i are saying that it looks better like once i have it on so i don't think it needs to be any lower than it is oh here can you video it because i can't okay i feel like it doesn't need to be any lower like i feel like it's good and then this is the front which i have to take this sticker off i'm so excited i love it so much i like the size of this too i feel i don't feel like it's too big or too small Oh my gosh, all right, let me put the hat on too. <laughs> we gotta go take product pictures. I need to go get blue jeans. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got a hair. You got a hair? I got a hair in my face. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's also another hat on the way. Um, It's like a trucker hat with the mesh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am so happy with it. I didn't want it to look like childish because like most um, like horse t-shirts, I feel like they look really childish and I, and I didn't really want it to look that way. Um, so I'm super, super excited with how it turned out. Okay. This is the black heather color and I also have a mint color on the way. Um, it's not on the way yet. I actually have to order it. I wanted to make sure I liked this first. Um, but I'm coming out with a mint color and this black heather color at first. Um, and I would like to obviously come out with more colors. But I just have to start out small. And I also have some more products on the way that I'm super excited about. And I also have to open this other package. Um, we have to open this. You know what this is, Johnny? No. It's Shop Simply House stuff. You know what this is? No. You do. I told you about it earlier. I wasn't paying attention. And the Bible verse that I put on the back of the shirts is Psalm 37, verses 4 through 5. And when I was designing the shirt, like in my head, I knew I wanted to put a Bible verse on the back, but I. I had the Bible verse like in my head, but I couldn't remember which verse it was. I was praying about it a lot as far as what Bible verse I wanted to put on the back of it. The night I was praying about it, the morning after that, um, I was doing my devotion like I normally do. And the Bible verse that I had in my head was the Bible verse that was affiliated with that devotion I was doing that morning. I was like, wow, <laughs> like I had the biggest smile on my face. I just knew that was God. Like, it was just so amazing. Like I went and told my mom about it and I was like, okay, that is definitely the verse I'm using. Like, I'm going to read y'all the verse really quick. Delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to a pass. Um, that verse is super special to me and something that my mom always told me and reminded me of. I never um, pictured myself being where I am today. Everything that I'm doing, the Lord has led me to. At the beginning of this year, I started to go after the career that I had always um, planned going after. 
almost my entire life like that's what I was going after was what I had always planned to do with my life and after I started going towards that and starting to plan really and actually go towards it after praying about it a lot I decided I didn't want to do that just and I was super super lost like at the beginning of this year because I knew I didn't want to go after that same goal anymore and I was so lost because I didn't know after that where I was going and where I was heading because I was so confused. Just, I've never stopped praying about it like I've kept praying about it and I'm a huge believer in unanswered prayers and I was talking about this on my Instagram a, a little bit today and kind of going along with this verse I'm saying that God knows the desires of your heart and he closes doors for a reason. He closes doors to open better ones. And my parents have always told me that and I've experienced it a lot. I fully trust in God that he's going to open better doors for me and I know that his plans are always greater. He has totally led me to all of this and I'm super, super, super excited for everything that he has in store for me. and. I appreciate y'all so, so much. All of y'all's love and support and everything, it just means the absolute world to me. Yeah, I'm just super, super excited. And I also have a sample of a bracelet that I have designed for us. And it has a, another Bible verse on it. And it is in the second book of Corinthians. And it's chapter 5, verse 7, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and that's the one that says walk by faith, not by sight, which is another verse that's really close to my heart and another one that I really love. So I've had that on a bracelet that I'm going to be launching um, on my store. Um, that sample is on the way here and I'm super, super excited to see it. But that verse is really important to me also. And I really wanted to have it on a bracelet to where we could just look down at our wrist and see that. I thought that was super, super special and a reminder that we all need to have that we need to just trust in God and oh my god I'm out of breath it's so humid in here out here and <laughs> um, so I'm really excited about that and I'm also going to be designing a one that says fearless so yeah those those are some of the things that I've been working on and I'm super super excited about it so yeah just know that if you're going through something right now plans that you had didn't work out or doors got slammed in your face or something be thankful for those things because God closes doors for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. God will close doors to open better ones. He knows the desires of your heart. And the plans that he has for you are greater than you can ever imagine. Keep the faith. Keep your trust in God. Keep pushing through because the plans that he has for you are so amazing. The plans that you thought that you had, God has something better for you. So as excited as you were for those plans that didn't fall through, you should be more excited because the plans that are going to take place are even greater than what you have planned for yourself. And there's a quote that I have um, on my laptop wallpaper, and it says, God wrecks your plans when he sees that your plans are about to wreck you. And I absolutely love that. He walk, oh gosh, get, uh, B, okay. <laughs> Um, the Walk by Faith bracelet will be launching when my t-shirts and hats launch and everything like that. And I also have a trucker baseball cap on the way here. Um, and if I like that, those will be available as well. Um, and then I also have some other things. And then I'm hoping to launch the sweatshirt with all of this as well. If you guys want to know when everything is launching, um, I'm always keeping y'all updated on my Instagram and Snapchat and everything. Um, so all of that is always in the description box if y'all care to follow me over on there. And yeah, I just wanted to thank y'all so much because y'all have already shown me so much love and support for this um, store and I haven't even launched yet and I'm just super excited for everything. And I cannot wait to see y'all wearing all the things. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, right now I'm going to turn the horses out and I have some things I need to do outside. I haven't mucked these past few days because we've had like some really nasty weather. We still are having nasty weather. It's like so humid right now. 
Um, so I need to go and muck. I have a few days to catch up on on that. And I also need to put some hay in the chicken coop because it's muddy in some areas. Because our chicken coop is kind of downhill a little bit. So there's this one spot that kind of holds water. I need to put some more dirt in there. But I'm trying to wait until the weather cools off a little bit. Because I don't really feel like shoveling dirt right now. I'm going to go and put some hay like where the muddy spot is. It's not that muddy. It's just kind of wet. Um... I mean, that's what mud is. <laughs> I'm saying it's not like deep mud. It's just kind of wet, like on the surface. I'm going to put some hay on top of that. That way they can walk on top of the hay instead of in the mud. And then I have some hay in the chicken coop that I need to rake out and dump and then put new hay in. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to go do right now. And yeah, the chicks are doing really well. They're growing really fast. And some of them will be ready to put outside soon. Where's my keys? Oh, here they are. I found them. Okay, what do we want to listen to on our quarter of a mile drive back home? Bury me in my heart. Bury me in my heart. Also, I don't have a seatbelt on because I am on private property. <laughs> Can't turn you down, John Party. It's one of my favorites. Here it don't touch red, but now I can't say no. Okay, let's get to the ponies. Get the other horses. No tires in a baby, can you pick me up? And I don't want to go home. She's me alone. Okay, the horses are out of the way now. I want to ride in your 55 T bird. Drag her some more memories. Okay, let's go and let these ponies out. I just fed everybody, so they're all still in here. Hey, mummies. Come on. Come on. I got to go muck. Okay, it's a little bit later now. I got my hat on. I love it so much. Um, I'm going to load all oh, my batteries flashing. I gotta go get a battery, hold on. Okay, I have a battery now. So I have some manure in here that I got a couple days ago, but it was storming so I couldn't dump it. So I'm gonna go and dump that and then I'm going to load up some hay and take it to the chicken coop. Um, and I'll use my wheelbarrow to get the old hay out and then I'll put the new hay in and then I'm gonna go and muck the pastures. I also need to clean the rabbit's litter boxes, so I'll probably do that too. <laughs> okay, I gotta get the full wheeler over here.
Okay, I just got the hay and there is a lavender Orpington and a blue copper Marianne in there. There's Maui. Okay, so really quick, y'all can see how muddy it is in here. Like, I need to clean this bucket. This is the wet spot I was telling y'all about. So, it kind of runs downhill. So, if I put, I'm not doing this today, but hopefully like this weekend. Um, if I put dirt in here, the water is going to run around it. Because it's not going to run uphill. So, I just need to add some dirt in here. But for right now, I'm just going to put some hay on top of this. Um, that way, they walk on top of the hay instead of in the mud. Um, and that will help keep the eggs clean too since um, they'll walk in the mud and then go in the nesting boxes back there. So I'm going to clean this out a little bit and then I need to clean this area up which is where the ducks um, lay and some of them sleep here and ducks are so messy. If y'all have ducks you know how messy ducks are. Um, okay, so yeah, that's what I'm going to work on right now, but I'm going to wrap the hose up really quick and um, sweep off the grooming station. Look at the little piggies. They're so cute. I got to come over here and get the broom. Hello, Squiggly and Wilbur. Hi, Wilbur. Squiggly. That's my girl. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let me grab the broom and start working on this. Okay, that's a little bit better until I can get some dirt in here. And then I just cleaned out their water buckets. Now I got to go and rake out the coop part. Normally I keep shavings like underneath their roost. Um, but we're out of shavings currently, so that's why we don't have any shavings in here.
Okay, so here is where the ducks normally sleep and lay. Um, normally they have a little nest over here, but they'll fix it the way they want it. Um, so normally a couple of the ducks sleep right here and then the other ones sleep out here on this, in this little corner. Um, so I put some hay there for them. Um, the ducks prefer the hay, um, but I like putting shavings in here where the roosts are. Um, but like I said, we're out, um, so I just have hay right this second. Okay, so now I'm out of breath and it's really humid. There's Loretta. Hey, pretty girl. Okay, so I'm done with the chicken coop for now, so I'm going to get the wheelbarrow and bring it to the rabbit hutches so I can dump their litter boxes out. And then I'm going to muck the pastures. I cannot believe how humid it is. I think it's supposed to be cooler this weekend, so that will be really nice because it's really hot. <laughs> Okay, her litter box is all clean. I use aspen bedding. Um, and then she has her Timothy hay. And the aspen bedding I get from Tractor Supply. Okay. And normally she has a piece of fleece in here. But I have to get her a new one because she dirty the other one. I gotta get her a new one. Okay. Open your door back up. Okay, I just got done with the rabbit, so I'm going to go and muck the pastures now. And when I'm done with that, I have some things inside that I have to get done for my store. Um, I have to order some supplies, and I'm, and I'm also making some things um, that are going to be listed on there as well. Um, and then I have a lot of editing to do, so I think we're going to go ahead and end this video here. But I love and appreciate y'all so, so very much, and I'll see y'all really soon with another one. Bye!